Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading Rengoku Rex Listener by me. So let's get into it. Rengoku knew that your life was rough and a lot of things were just things out of your own control. You couldn't have control over who raised you, who would be with you, and who the person you chose would be because that was your decided by fate. And sometimes Life and the universe were not very kind. He was glad that you were with him right now. But he knew previously you were in a bad place. He didn't ask too many questions, didn't want to pry, didn't want to do anything that would hurt you more than you already are. But for the most part, he also wanted to know, if only just to be able to ease some of the burdens that you have to make things better for you, to say a word that would be able to heal you from the inside, to do anything to make you feel just the slightest bit better. But he knew that was not easy either. He couldn't change your family or your circumstances. He couldn't do anything. And with the limited knowledge he had, he couldn't even discern the source of your troubles. For the most part, he couldn't do much, but be there and love you as you are, which he didn't mind, but he also hoped he could do more, more than just stand by sometimes and wonder what he could do, and wonder what he doesn't know either. So when one day, all by coincidence, he walks it on you as you're looking for your jacket and he sees that scar in your arm, he finally understands why you never wear short sleeves, as you hide your arm away, trying to act like he didn't see it. But the way you look at him like you're so nervous and scared, it means you can't just say nothing. He would rather tell you that he noticed, than you just living in ignorance and fear of him ever finding out, when he doesn't even know why you're afraid. Moyan, I saw it. Please, you don't have to hide from me. You can tell me if anyone is hurting you, or if it's more complicated than that. He was afraid you may be hurting yourself. He was afraid you may have had, or there was just something so bad he didn't know. He couldn't prevent the trouble that he doesn't know from happening if he has no idea of what's going on. And he understands why you keep him in the dark sometimes. You still struggle sometimes. You still see yourself as a burden. And that was nothing he could fix with ease. There were a lot of things you were supposed to do. But none of them were easy. And frankly, you didn't always make his job easier. For the most part, he had to just pull the words out from you or convince you that you are so much more than what you think you are. And he was grateful to be able to do that. But sometimes it was difficult in the first place. Not that you would ever blame him for feeling that way. But now as you looked at him, shame clouded your face as you fidgeted, unable to meet his eyes. I'm so sorry, Ringaku. I didn't want to lie to you. I didn't mean to. I was afraid you would think that was, I don't know, ugly or a sign of weakness. I know that's not maybe what you would say, but sometimes I can't stop my brain from saying things. It's a lot more difficult than you would believe. I understand. But please, may I say something? Of course, you have the right to say whatever you want, even if you feel betrayed with me, even if you're disgusted, or... No, please, stop saying that. That couldn't be further from the truth. I could never be disgusted with you, Ion. You never did anything to make me upset. I'm only worried, that's all. I don't want you to be in pain and all alone, at the very least, 
You deserve to be acknowledged. You deserve to feel cared for. I can't care for you if you don't tell me what's wrong. Even if it happened a long time ago. I can see sometimes that it's still affecting you. And I can see now because you never told me about your injuries and your scars. And you felt like you had to hide them for so long that in reality, I would have never judged you for them. Scars are markers of the past. They tell us where we've been, what we've been through, and how far we've come. They are beautiful, just as you are. Just as your heart is, too. He didn't realize you started crying until you ran into his arms. But immediately you wrapped his arms around you tightly, stroking your hair and your back, holding you close like he never had. He knew this moment was important for you, and he was never going to make it anything else. It was important for the both of you, for him to see this and find out, and for you to know that no matter secrets you may hide, no matter what you've been through, he loves you, and nothing in the world can change that, no matter what you may think or doubt. The truth right now laid bare before you, and you could no longer ignore it, or doubt it in any way, and he was glad to put your worries to rest. So when you looked up at him, with your tears finally dry, he smiled. So, feeling any better? Yeah, I am. Thank you, Rangaku. It truly means the world to me. It was a relief to be able to make you feel better in some way. And he knew later on that you would have so many things to tell him from the way you looked at him. It didn't matter. His questions could be answered later. And any of his worries should be laid and put aside. Because now, caring for you was his utmost priority. And he would fulfill that before anything else. Nothing in the world could change that, or change the way that you would always be at the top of his priorities. And right now, as the two of you were in each other's arms, you could lay any worries aside, because the truth has finally come to light, and you would have his love and support whenever you needed it.